In this video, open camera Android app, we're talking camera 2 API manual focusing with focus assist. You can see the two images on screen with a little arrow. The next slide shows the app setup. In number one, make sure if your phone allows, you have camera API, which is turned on to camera two API. In number two, go to settings camera preview for focus assist, where you can set up two times and four times demos in this video. Finally, number three, we have the focus peaking on and off and the focus peaking color, which you can set to green, blue, yellow, purple and white. Again, demo in this video. So to get started then, we go over to the first thing on location with open camera and we can see we're zooming in and we're focusing and very little has happened. So let's get this started. Go over to camera two API, select manual. These videos are going at double time to save time. You've got a slider along the bottom there. When you zoom in, you have got times two times four, and you're focusing off in the distance. Taking a breath, let's just watch the screen demo in double quick time of using this slider and seeing on location here where we can start to use the slider bottom center. As you do, the camera will zoom immediately just in camera preview to times by four zoom to give you that fine pinprick of focus. That's what you're watching on screen now. We're swapping over to video in open camera and doing exactly the same. Apologies if it's going a bit quick on screen, but I'm putting in an awful lot as you can imagine. Next, we go off to look at a slightly different scene and we're once again checking to make sure that we've got the focus assist off because we want to turn it on. I like the focus assist because it gives you that pinprick. So in the demo here with a previous me a few hours ago, I'm setting up number times two and you can see that it automatically zooms in to the dead center of screen to give you that idea of exactly where we're going with pinprick focus. Another scene here, as you can see, that we've got a focus distance on screen and we've also got times by four. So if you're looking quite wide, maybe at 1920 by 1080, then giving that zoom, for some reason we're at zoom eight times there. Very, very interesting. Just let this play out with this scene because if you're new to this, then you can literally go into a field play around with the manual focus if you're lucky enough to have API 2. And on screen now you can see a little bit of exposure where we're adding um, a little bit more of a layer, shall we say, in production. We've moved over to the thistles and similarly we're getting used to it now. And we can see this is a great example because if you have an object which is a plant, say in this example, quite close to the camera intentionally, then you can pull around with the focus to infinity and to right up close to really start composing something that you actually like. You can see that by screen recording, we've got open camera over the top and there will be a moment of pure video. Let's go over to another demo bit, shall we? Oh. Bit of a mistake there, never mind. Here we've got a center which does not focus on the object that we need. So therefore, we need to rotate the camera slightly left as I'm going to get our object, which is our flower here. And then we're going to get some focus directly on it. Can we do that? Oh, good, that's, sharp. that's quite sharp focus. Then we can rotate the camera, pan it to the right, and you can see that we've got our object exactly in focus as we need and then we can compose. This shot will be at the end of this video and you can see I tried to record then obviously the Moto G8 Plus doesn't want to do it if we're screen recording. We are now going to go over in a couple of seconds time to the focus peaking and I will show you that just finishing this scene I can promise that it's coming in 3, 2, 1 and here it is. So we're indoors in the studio. We've got some Sharpies. And you can see that when we're focusing, 
we get a visual representation of the focus on screen. Of course we do, but we need to go down and look at the camera preview again and looking at the focus assist which is off in this example. I found it works a bit better than that. Right to the bottom and we need focus peaking. We're going to set on white and we're going to turn that on and then you'll see what happens when we slide the focus. You can see that there's the scene but as you get something in focus you start to get this peaking of white. Can you see on the sharpie on right of screen and all round the other sharpie pens where the focus is peaking you get a white outline. If you wanted to see that slightly in a different colour maybe yellow is a good example so we can go back to settings he says waiting for the video to move on which it does and camera preview right to the bottom focus peaking color and yellow and then go back have a little look and see that the focus peaking now is in yellow which is another very very handy feature we're nearly done in this video albeit to say let's have a look at the original slide which said about open camera Android app camera 2 API if you're lucky enough to have it manual focusing with focus assist so let's both enjoy the tranquility of the outdoors in a June summer morning and I think this might have been double time without audio irrespective of that let's fade to black and once again this was me Mike Downs and see you in the next video.